Hey, in the next five minutes, I'm going to show you the best in class example of a musician making money from an audience on YouTube that I've ever seen so far. Um, first credit goes to Jay Howie. If you follow what he's doing, you will make money on YouTube as a musician, especially if you're talented. Okay. This video all along the watchtower, you've never heard it like this is one of the best songs I've ever heard. The link is in the description. You should go and watch it in its own right. But I then came down, it's got four and a half million views and it was released on September the 2nd, okay? But what I'm gonna go through now is um, a couple of things in his description. And if you do, if you have a music page and you do this, you will start to make some money, especially as your audience grows. Okay, so what's the first thing? I'm gonna go through these in order of how they appear. The first one is Patreon. If you don't know what Patreon is, it's a community where people can pay for different levels and you provide content uh, on Patreon that people can't get anywhere else. So it's exclusive. He is making loop videos that are extremely unique and he has a phenomenal voice. Okay. And one way he incentivizes, he, so he knows his audience, one way he incentivizes people to join his uh, Patreon is by offering value. So he says, tabs available here. Tabs are guitar tabs, obviously, right? So if you go to his Patreon and you support him, you get the tabs. So he's probably getting quite a few guitarists that want these unique tabs for this song. Honestly, you have to go and watch this video. It's so good. I'm on my fourth or fifth time watching this now. Credit to Jay Howie. Um, hopefully, you can have him on for an interview. That would be amazing. Um, so yeah, first one is Patreon. He's building a community on there. Then he has a slight description. Here's my version all along the watchtower. This is good for appearing in more organic listings because people will be searching things. For example, RC30 loop pedal. Because that's in the, in the description, when someone types in RC30 loop pedal into YouTube search, YouTube search, this box up here, is the second biggest search engine after Google, okay? Uh, or it was a few years ago. I think TikTok may have overtaken that now. Um, but these keywords help him appear in more organic search, so it increases the reach of the video. Okay, see how I set up my looper here. He's adding more content that he's created and bringing the audience that he's already captured onto other things that they would find interesting. So he's keeping them within his ecosystem. Okay, next, check out You've Never Heard It Like This playlist. This is for people, so the first one here, how I set up my loop pedal. So part of his audience is people that want to play loop pedal like him. I'm not surprised, I wanna play loop pedal like him. This second one, another section of his audience is for people which are just in love with his music. So I'm gonna click on that link there. Uh, check out, you've never heard it like this before playlist. Again, each time uh, one of your audience members watches one of your music videos, you gain more trust with them, okay? By, okay, so that's taking them back into your ecosystem. The next, buy Jay's album here. If you are falling in love with this song, you can go onto here, and every time someone clicks this and buys the album, he gets a percentage of that. Buy official Jay Howie merchandise here. Again, merchandise, maybe you wanna represent the t-shirt or a mug. I haven't looked at his store, so I don't know what he's selling. But you wanna to link to your merch store, a link to your music in here. Next. J. Howie Music. Why would you include this? You should have your own website. A lot of artists are just going on Instagram now, but if you have your own website, people can download press packets. They can see your upcoming tour dates. It's a space you own off these platforms which can shut you down. But your website can't be shut down unless you get hacked, but it's very unlikely. It's a space that you own. You get to control what content goes up there. Why would you put this in here? Because once they're on your website, you've taken them off platform and then you can direct them to the other things that you want them to do, the other valuable things, okay? Tip jar, maybe you just wanna send them a couple of quid because you loved it so much. Why not have that option? PayPal, boom, a quick tip. Join the mailing list. This is so important, it's something I try and get across to other musicians. Why is a mailing list important? A mailing list is important because you then own that person's email account, you can have your YouTube channel shut down, you can have your Facebook account shut down, Instagram shut down, 
that if you have a list of people's emails, these people have specifically said, I want you to get in contact with me with news. You can send them upcoming tour dates, new video releases. Um, you can then on the third or fourth email say, hey, come and like my Instagram. And then you're using that list that you have to build up other platforms, okay? So he's capturing their email address. Next, Facebook and Instagram. Also a valuable thing to build your audience on those so that every time you have a new video or an event, you can advertise on these platforms. Another valuable thing to have in your video description. Contact, okay. For subscribers, so he knows some of these people are fans. Some of these people view this and want to collab, like a sponsorship deal, a record label, uh, other musicians that want to collab. So he has a separate email address for general and for collabs. That helps with his admin, but it also makes it look way more professional. Okay, I really like this. And again, to get those email addresses, which is jhowiemusic.com, you need your own website. So he owns this domain, and because of that, he can have a specific email address. I, I can't believe how good this song is. Uh, please go and watch this song again. It's so nice. Okay, need help growing your channel. This is an example of an affiliate link. He has a huge YouTube channel. One, of, one section of his audience will also be musicians looking at it and saying, hey, I want a channel like this. Down here, every time someone goes and signs up for TubeBuddy with the link J Howie Music, yeah, he will get a commission on anything that they buy. Okay, now we come to the main um, affiliate links. If you're watching this and... Uh, he's using a loop pedal, okay? But people watch this and go, damn, that sounds amazing. How is he recording? What camera gear is he using? These links are Amazon affiliate links. Every time someone clicks on one of these, anything that they buy in the next 24 hours, he will get a small commission. And so he's just adding value. He's not scamming people out of money. He's saying, this is the gear I use. If you want to buy this gear on Amazon, click this link, I will get a small percentage. Okay, uh, with an affiliate link, you have to say these links are affiliate links and I may receive a small commission at no extra cost to you. That's the thing. You're not harming your audience here by having an affiliate link. If they click it, they're helping you. It's like, it's a, it's a free way for them to help you even if they don't buy that particular piece of gear. Okay, if there's any gear that you would like any info on that's not listed above, hit me up in the comments and I would be more than happy to help. I think this is the main thrust here. He's building an audience because he's adding so much value. And that's what I'm hoping to do with this. It's just explain different ways of making money online and add value to people. Okay, so you can see how many affiliate links. This is for every section of his audience. Microphones, camera gear. Some people just like making YouTube videos. He's got the recording gear. Uh, all of the loop pedals. If you hear him playing extremely well on the loop pedal, you're going to try and buy it. Okay. Uh, I've already clicked on some of these. I got you, bro. If I uh, buy something on Amazon, you'll get some. Okay. Credit. This is cool. He's like crediting different things that he's used. So this is a subscribe button inside his YouTube video. Okay. Uh, and then these hashtags. What is the point of these? This just helps YouTube know what kind of uh, topics you're actually covering in the video. Okay. Again, this is a phenomenally well set up description. This guy seriously knows what he's doing with YouTube. There's a lot to learn in here if you're a musician and if you're just a general creator. Um, the next thing I want to show you is the last thing. Uh, let me try and find where it comes up in the video. Um, he uses cards, so he's just He's got extra videos that he's chosen to add. Uh, if you're watching this and you're like, wow, how does he, he do it? He's created a lot of videos such as Loop Like a Pro. Uh, these pop up on cards in the video. And then at the end, he's got these. This is an end card. You can subscribe here and you can watch another video. Just keeping people on the loop. If you're a musician and you want to help, if you want help putting any of this description together, uh, get in contact with me. I will help you build a description 
like this for your videos that you can copy and paste. And thank you so much, Jay, Howie, for your amazing video. I am in love with this song. Um, I would love to talk to you about this. It's such a beautiful song. Again, the video link is in the description. Go and watch it. Go and subscribe to his channel. What a phenomenal artist. Nice one. See ya.